Can you guys read that? Deep Creek Lake. I am at the biggest lake in all of Maryland. 3,900 acres. My very first time here. I'm on foot and the challenge for today is to uh, try to catch some fish. Well, so here we are. I just parked the car right along the road. And sadly, a lot of this lake is private. So besides the obvious difficult task of uh, trying to find fish in this humongous body of water, I also need somewhere that I can safely fish from without getting kicked out. And when I did, I've looked on the map and I think I found a decent spot right around this bend over here. Whew. Ah, I probably should have brought my water shoes here. And I've already seen a lot of boat traffic, so that's probably not going to be the best scenario for fishing. I think to get around here, I'm going to have to get wet. Whew. Whew. Feels pretty refreshing. At the three hour car drive, that'll definitely wake you up. Dip your feet in some uh, crystal clear. This water is insanely clear, actually. Beautiful lake so far from what I've seen. Actually, that guy's fishing the bridge over there. That's a good sign. When a boater chooses to fish the area that you want to fish from the bank, when he could fish the entire lake, probably means it's a pretty decent spot. Here we go, kicking things off. We've got bait number one, or rod number one, bullhead minnow rod. Let's grab a nice chunky live one. This guy looks pretty thick. Let's go ahead and throw him in on line. Very simple rig today. We've just got, oh, almost hooked myself. A little drop shot hook, because I don't have any bait holder hooks on me. Hook them right through the lips, like so. Well, this guy's, look at that, good action on this guy. And a little split shot weight, about six to eight inches above the hook. I'm just gonna cast this, uh, I mean, we got rocks here. I know there's walleye, I know there's small, uh, or small mouth. I know there's pike. Let's just cast as far as we can and try to get a, de uh, a sense of how deep the water is from the bank here. All right, that's a very short, about 15 to 20 yard cast. Measure out how deep the water is. Oh, it just dropped. I think it was about 12 to 15 feet right there. The good news is I don't think we'll have to get really deep today. As you can see, we got a little bit of cloud cover, a little bit of wind. So I think the fish are gonna move up, up in these rocks and gonna look to feed on crawfish and other uh, fish species. So we'll see if I can get, uh, get lucky over here. Rod number two, we've got the classic night crawler. All we're gonna do is uh, take half of one of these dudes, you know, you just bite it in half real quick, put it up there, just Snap it. I'm going to take it and I'm going to thread it right on uh, this drop shot hook. Like so. Very simple. And since I don't have the proper terminal tackle, I've went ahead and just used the drop shot weight and put it above the line, which is uh, not good because it'll weaken the line, but we'll make do with what we have here today. Let's go ahead and just cast it straight out as far as we can. This time I'll be able to measure how deep the water is. This one has a pretty heavy weight. Four, five, 35, 36, 37, 38, 38. All right, just counted 38 seconds. My bait is currently in 38 feet of water. That's a little bit deep and that's actually insanely deep. I only cast it out 30 yards. So right away, this is uh, very unlike the bodies of water I'm used to fishing. This is gonna be a bit of a learning curve today, guys. Oh shoot, I got one. I got something. I freaking got something. Holy moly. It actually only took about 20 minutes. It actually feels pretty good. What the heck is this? I can't. Guys, I got a live worm and live minnow. I've been fishing them all around it. I pick up a, a tiny jig, fifth cast, I hook something up. Sometimes artificial baits will do the trick. This is pretty freaking. What do we have here? Oh, it's a walleye, it's an eye. Yeah, this is my very first walleye I've ever caught in Maryland. I've caught a good number of them in other states. I've never caught a walleye in Maryland. I've caught them in Pennsylvania. I, I knew there's a good number of them in here. I can't believe I actually caught a walleye. I caught that, I need to think, I caught that casting out there, I counted down to about 26 feet of water. Holy moly, beautiful fish, look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, oh, don't, don't get off, don't get off. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's like a 22 inch walleye right here. Look at those teeth on him. 
That guy can mess you up. That jig is way down there, little crawfish imitation. Whew. I need to look up the size limit because I'm here with my family and they want to eat some fish. Let me Google it real quick. It's alphabetical, so it should be near the bottom. Walleye right here. Daily, all right. Minimum size 15 inches, open year round. We're in regulation, guys. So this guy is going in the frying pan. All right, guys, check it out. The walleye. Look at this guy. Really nice specimen right here. I usually catch them at night uh, when I fish in Philadelphia, but it's a cloudy day today, so it's actually uh, really, really good conditions to catch them. I'm gonna go ahead and measure him, but uh, you guys can see, nice bronze color. Really impressive uh, dorsal fin right here. And if you look in his mouth, full of chompers. You do not want to let him bite onto you and thrash him. I mean, if I, if I put, wow, if you put your finger gently across the front teeth, they are razor sharp. I may have overestimated my uh, original prediction. It comes out to about 18 inches. It's tough to tell, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep this guy alive. I've got a recycling bag right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab our fish, insert him in the bag, and we're going to just let that bag float in the water. I don't know if this is the right way to keep fish alive because uh, I usually don't keep fish, but I'm gonna punch a couple holes. This is not, all right, we got some water in there. It's not the ideal way to do it, but we'll make it work. We have officially gotten the skunk out of the way and uh, the live bait apparently has not worked out for us yet. Instead, I had a very sloppy presentation, this mini jig right here. We've just got a uh, little lead jig head, quarter of an ounce. Then on that, I put on a little uh, Elaztec crawfish right here. It's really hard to thread on this jig head, so it actually looks pretty pretty bad, but it's what that wall I wanted to chomp on. I was fishing, uh, bouncing along the rocks on the bottom in approximately 24 to 26 feet of water. So uh, before I go into a little more how I chose this spot on this uh, giant body of water, let's see if we can catch one more fish. Whoa, was that a fish right there? Hold on a second. Where's my minnow? Oh, snap. Wait, what? What the heck's my bobber, my minnow? Oh, jeez, oh, come on, man. Oh, okay. Why does everything have to be tangled? Goodness gracious, where the heck is my bobber? I literally don't see my bobber, and I just saw a splash right in front of me. I'm scrambling to get my line, which caught in every freaking rock in this lake. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, do I have a fish on here? I, do I, I have a fish on here? Well, during that walleye catch, something ate my shiner or my bullhead minnow, and it is a little rock bass. This guy was uh, actually pretty hungry. Look at that nice, pretty red eye. All right, there we go. Let's let you go, Mr. Rock Bass. Well, another new species. I've caught him in Maryland before, but it's always cool to catch something new for the day. I'm gonna have to go no bobber because walleyes typically feed on the bottom, I think. I don't know much about that species, but I think they're more of a bottom feeder, so I'm gonna try to present my baits on the bottom. See if I can catch something uh, really, really big. And since we know these walleye are pretty decent size, we're gonna present an offering that's uh, more appropriate to them. Instead of using the half worm, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the, uh, the entire night crawler. Whoa, that might be a bite. All right, put down my Chick-fil-A sandwich. That may have been a bite on this line right here. I saw it jump just the slightest little bit. I feel, yep, there's something on it. That's a fish. It's in the rocks. Uh, we got a light line. We gotta get this fish out of the rocks. That is the number one priority. There may be a fish on that line, on the minnow. Oh, that's a perch. Oh, that's a, oh dude, my family's gonna go crazy. You know, Asian people love eating fish. Look at that, that's a jumbo perch. Holy moly. Woo! Look at that, guys. I hooked my own line, that's why I thought there was a fish on it. And this boat traffic is out of control. Oh, I hope my camera doesn't get wet. Are we safe? We're safe. Guys, look at this freaking yellow perch. Fish species number three. Beautiful fish. And we are tangled out the wazoo and we are bleeding everywhere. This is an absolute mess. That's all I can say, but we are catching fish. Now these are his true colors. Bright orange fins. I mean, a fire tiger pattern probably really good for predatory fish to uh, mimic these yellow perch. But this is a nice eating sized jumbo perch. Is my sandwich still intact? I think it might got a little little bit of uh, the water on it, but let's finish it off. All right, we're good. We've got all of our trash right here, like that. Don't litter. 
this is awesome coming out first time giant body of water all you gotta do is you gotta be smart about it when you're coming out here you gotta do your research i called the bait shops i did research on google maps i found out what's working so basically when i called the bait shop they're like yeah most of the place is private before i even called them i had planned on fishing this bridge but at least i knew a second option for a bridge in case this one didn't work out and let me go ahead and show you guys on Google Maps how I decided, uh... Here's how I picked my spot. On the left, you'll see a map of Deep Creek. I circled the two areas with bridges, so immediately I knew I'd want to fish one of those areas. The picture in the middle is a map of a bridge, but you can see from these contour lines, they're a little bit spaced out, and fishing from the bank, I wouldn't really be able to access deep water, so it would not be ideal for such a deep, clear lake where I'm targeting species like walleye and pike. Then on the right, you have the bridge I'm currently fishing, you can see the contour lines are a lot more clumped together, perfect for the bank angler. And on the right side, you can actually see casting a mere 15 to 20 yards, you can get into 20 feet easily. And I'm even able to get into the deeper water around 38 feet, casting a full 30 to 40 yards. I don't know when the next, uh, next fish is gonna come, but let me go show you guys something pretty cool over here. Yeah, here it is, I see it. Look at that guy right there. Look at him, you see him? Look at that. That black ant is carrying a giant turd several times his body weight. It is actually quite impressive how big that turd is compared to his body weight. And he's walking backwards. But look at that, look at that, look at that power that he has carrying that piece of poop. So I'm gonna let him go on and uh, we're just gonna wait patiently for our next fish whenever that may be. Oh, we made it. At the cabin, ah, we're gonna go check out the digs. There she is, a beautiful, like, 10 bedroom cabin. Entire family's here. How's it going, guys? Enjoying the cabin? Hey, Michael. How's it going? How's it going? Hey. Walking in, let's go check out what's inside here. Ooh. Whoa, dude, it's all wood. Is this real wood? I, this is without a doubt a real wooden cabin. I've actually never been into a wooden cabin before. It looks like it's uh, well stocked for the adult crowd right there. Why do we need fishing nets to go fishing? Why do you need fishing nets to go fishing? We gotta net the fish. You guys wanna see some live fish? Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Look what's in there. Look at those. We got live minnows in there. Oh, he's getting ready to come down. Yeah, he's coming oh, the down. Fish? Oh, yeah. There he comes. All right. The fish net. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong. There's something wrong with that That's the uh, biggest kid in the house, guys. My Uncle Derek. You look a little bit unstable on that, Uncle Derek. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was pretty impressive. I give him a 10 out of 10 for that. It's time for the adventure to continue. Deep Creek Adventure. Is that Patrick right here? Was Anthony? How's it going? I don't know. I think he's still playing pool downstairs. By himself? Solo? Yeah, okay. yeah I think All he's right. practicing. Right down there. Alright, we got a nice trail right here and apparently it leads to a dock and Deep Creek Lake everything is private except two bridges and apparently the docks are either really really good or really really bad for fishing so we're about to find out oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. whoa. okay whoa. that's not unusual for a uh, no, it's angler. So ass. I can give you a crash training course if you'd like oh uh, no, no 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 I gotta learn myself okay I like I respect that yeah I can see that you're very close to completing the uh, full motion. Oh, so Something. you're doing what's you're doing the the button cast method, which is uh which is a different style of reel. This is a spinning rod, so you might get yeah. to you have to alter your your cast a little bit. All right, but you can do a couple. It doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. Now you flip the bail while holding it. Okay. Now you flick it. So you almost had you were just missing one step. Okay. The line holding. Boom! There we go. There we go. All right. Well done. Well done. All right. Now let's I'm see if you can catch the it. first fish. I got a secret weapon here, but it looks like I didn't need it. Patrick has caught his biggest fish of his life. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty small bass. All right, all right, you know your stuff. Let's see you uh, unhook it now. All right. All right. Oh, you've done it before, though. Uh, you still have the muscle memory. Yeah. Oof, it's in its tongue. It's in its tongue. Let's see. Ooh. This might be a plier. This yeah. is a pliers deal. Yeah. And then he just sort of came around. There we, go. There we out. go. Just cast him. Catch and release. I thought your family wanted to eat the fish, dude. Uh, I don't think that one's big enough to eat. Uh, yeah, it's not eating fish anyway. Yeah. Good call, good call. Yeah. Come on, come back for it. 
It's a free meal. How do you not eat a free meal? I usually fish it. Oh, he's, he's on again. You got something? Yeah. Oh, really? Set the reel it in. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Is it big? I'm just seeing all of your fish. All right, good. Where is it? Dude, you're the slowest reeler I've ever seen. Oh, sh that's a big pickerel, I think. You got a big pickerel. Is that a pike? That might be uh, a yeah. pike. That's a pike. Oh, damn. I think you got a northern pike. Oh. All right. Yeah, leave it in the water. Don't reel up anymore. Hold on. Yeah, Give it yeah. some slack. I got you. You got it. All right. We got Patrick's brother right here. One upping him with the uh, the pike over your bass. Bring him bring him over here. I'll land him for you. Yeah, when I when I reel him in, I usually tire him out. <laughs> You're very slow and methodical. We'll take him. Ah. Got the pickerel, we got the pike. We got all kinds of species today. Today was not a bad day at all. We using a minnow? Yeah, yeah, I was using a minnow. All right. You can hold your fish, bro. So how do I do this? You just gotta grab them pretty, like pretty tight. Yeah, both, use both hands. There you go. There you go. Nice job, man. Take a quick close up. Check out the chompers on them. Let's see what we got in here, guys. Nice row of razor sharp teeth. They'll grip onto his prey and not let it escape. All right, you wanna let him go? Yep. Here we go with the release. Off he goes. Good job, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs>